What do you think? You got to start. Okay, my lady. Okay, hand. Uh, come here. Right here where the sun? Sure. I'm gonna lift this rock up. Come here. Check out what's underneath. <laughs> so many crabs. Can you see him? Yep. I name him Rock. Hey, can I join you? Got this logging log that has the chain in it still that apparently broke free and is just drifting. Hope it doesn't block us in over here. What if a bear or a cougar came while we were picnicking? Well, bears are still asleep, so. Yes. Cougars hibernate, right? No. <laughs> I was out there two weeks ago and uh, there were wolves howling. And I was howling back to them and I put the footage in the blog. Yeah. That was right there behind us right here. So for lunch, I made a salad and I just reused the salad container it came in. And we have some apples and veggie straws, some chocolate and some kimchi that I made a couple days ago that we need to eat up, so. Fermented foods, important for stomach health, important for bacteria, good bacteria, important for immune system. Yep. Okay, tide has reached us, time to go.
see my pants became shorts. Very sexy. Hold I on still one. have my tan. Oh, very nice. And with the boots. Oh my god. Oh. But this big log. Look at it. Check it out. I think I can push it. I can't move it. I'm stuck here all night. It'd be great to tow this back to Komorebi and then use it for something or firewood or anything. For sure. Okay, let's shove off. What if the apocalypse happened and we had no more access to gasoline? We had to just rode the striker. Then we'd be really buff, but you're just like a black silhouette right now. Good. You're right in the sun. <laughs> That's the way I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the motor. Bye, beach. Until next time. So what happens here is the ore just plugs right back in here under Puma's paws. And just go snap. You screw it in. And our boat can be a rowboat or it can be a uh, badass little sports car convertible boat. super early morning it's gonna be a beautiful day today total blue sky sun is out and uh, gonna to use today to chop some wood do some projects power up all of our batteries with solar panels and uh, build this log cabin so stick around I'll take you guys with us on the journey and we'll show you guys what we do on a bright sunny day here in the Canadian rainforest Puma come here come Puma come on sit stay 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 Kai, no. Good boy. Stay. Okay, come. Come on, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. And even though the sun is just peeking over top of the tree line, still got these guys connected and pulling in eight watts. And once it gets a little higher, this will get to about like 60 something watts. These flashlights are pretty cool. They, uh, you can hand crank it, you can pull this out, and you can spin this to charge them. They have the light underneath and the light here. We use these to bring extra light to the yurt and for nighttime security, and they have a solar panel on top so you can charge them in the sun so I point that toward the sun it turns blue I point it away from the sun it turns off it's charging up now we're up to 46 watts
even though these six volt batteries are already full, we've been keeping them healthy and full <sighs> until we have the full solar system up. I just wanted to show you guys what we do to uh, keep these guys healthy and strong using our 100 watt solar panels to charge up these uh, 6 volt batteries. I just run them in series, hook the negative of one to the positive of the other and tie them together in series and then hook them up to my 100 volt panels that are on top of the boat because these 100 volt panels get sun all day on top of the boat. So until we have all the solar panels up on top of the carport, um, just been keeping these guys energized and healthy. Don't want them to sit alone all winter and just drain down in that cold weather. So we're keeping them. Come here, Kai. Sit. Shake. Come here. Sit. Go get it. <laughs> and then in about a month, once we um, have the panels up on top of the carport, we'll be setting up a serious energy shed for all these guys and we'll have the yurt and the rest of our life here energized proper.
Okay, so now we're gonna break for lunch. I'm starving. We have the first pile that was right here is pretty much done. It's just like really small stigs and twigs. Twigs. And we're gonna do like a little small fire to get rid of those because it's kind of a pain in the butt to put in the chipper. Did you just say twigs and swigs? Twigs and sticks? Yeah. So it's looking good. We got some piles of awesome wood chips right there. And uh, yeah, so we're hungry. I'm gonna go eat. Never some. in my life have I appreciated clothes as I have with this venture. Like the clothes Nicole and I wear are so important for keeping us safe, don't you think? Yeah, for sure.